Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Scott Price. I'm the policy director of the Alliance uh, for Progressive Values. And on behalf of the many, many organizations that are involved with this and our friends at DCU who are hosting this with us, uh, I want to welcome you. Thank you all very much. Um, thank you to the candidates who have shown up for this. And I appreciate it. We know how busy you all are. Um, in a minute, I'm going to hand off to uh, Kirsten Gray, who's going to be tonight's moderator. Um, we, have, uh, we are circulating with uh, sign-up sheets and also with uh, cards. If you want to um, put in questions, please um, hold up your hand with the question and someone will come and get it. Um, our timekeeper for tonight is Scott Berger from uh, the Sierra Club. Uh, please pay attention. He will be signaling you guys when you are close to having run out of time. Uh, no gum chewing. No, um, no talking, no note passing. Let's just be clear about that. And you know who I'm talking about. Okay, thank you all so much. Here's the grant. Okay. Good evening, and welcome to our forum for candidates running for school board in the city of Richmond. Before we get started, I would like to thank the following organizations for their hard work in putting this together. The Alliance for Progressive Values, Southerners on New Ground, Virginia New Majority, Central Virginia Chapter, National Organization of Women, Richmond Chapter, Reframe, A. Philip Randolph Institute, Coalition to Stop Gun Violence, Virginia Organizing, the Sierra Club, Falls of the James Chapter, Unite Women, Virginia, People for Faith and Equality of Virginia, and our host, the VCU Political Science Department, <clears throat> I shall now go over the ground rules for tonight's forum. The moderator will select the order of speakers. Candidates will be allowed two minutes to introduce themselves. Candidates arriving late shall receive this opportunity at the moderator's discretion. Candidates who need to leave early shall inform the moderator at the beginning of the program so that she may give them an opportunity to speak early. After introductions, the moderator shall direct a series of questions to groups of candidates with a focus on candidates running for the same office. Candidates shall keep their answers to two minutes. The moderator shall select questions turned in by the audience either for specific candidates or for select groups. All candidates will not be asked the same question, but of course they may comment on earlier questions. <coughs> At the moderator's discretion, candidates running for the same office may be allowed an opportunity to rebut. The moderator shall allow for closing statements at the end of the program, time permitting. The moderator is the final arbiter and will keep order during the forum. Okay, let's begin with introductions. Perhaps we can start here with Mary Blanchard and just go on down the line and then start over here. Two minute introductions. Don't hear um, good evening. I'm Mary Blanchard, and my three children went to Richmond Public Schools. We need to increase enrollment in our schools. Increased enrollment brings in state dollars, creates economy of scale, and it's good for our schools, communities, and cities. Three areas important to growing schools are strong leadership in every school. All parents want a well-run school. Principals and teachers are at the core of our education. We need this to be a strong working team. New programs and initiatives rest on top of this foundation. So the, this team needs to be strong and successful. We need to focus on school culture that supports communication and relationships between schools and families, <coughs> families and schools, and the community. A strong school and family relationship is important for students' academic achievement. Relationships between the community and schools provide opportunities for RP, potential RPS parents and the communities to get involved with their schools and become stakeholders in a school's success. Parents are looking for strong enrichment activities like art, music, and sports. Our schools are, our schools are supposed to ensure the success of career and college-ready students, offering strong programs from academic to vocational. 
My commitment to the community can be seen in 16 years of school involvement from organizing academic enrichment programs at Fisher Elementary School, PTA president at Lucille Brown, and four years of, as president of my neighborhood association. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Pat C. Conn Churchill, a former superintendent of Richmond Public Schools and a 37-year uh, career veteran of public schools. I worked in uh, several cities, Washington, D.C. I worked in Rochester, New York, Philly, and uh, I worked in Alabama. I worked all over the place, and I came here to Richmond as a superintendent of schools. I have a lot of ideas for transforming schools. I have four degrees uh, that have prepared me, a uh, degree in English from Talladega College, master's from University of Maryland, second master's and doctorate from Harvard. Um, I believe that some of the pressing issues, and probably one of the most pressing issues, is lack of funding. Uh, I do not depend solely on the city council and the school district to solve that problem. We, we will go to outside partners. My philosophy is the whole city has to embrace the schools. We want to partner with VCU in a more rigorous way and all of the other colleges, universities, businesses, and so forth. We want to give people naming opportunities to provide us with facilities that we need. And we want to take another look at the structure of our schools. I will tell you more about that uh, later. But uh, I have many, many ideas, and you can find them all on risingschools.com, which is my website, R-I-S-I-N-G-S-C-H-O-O-L-S.com. I have 22 ideas for transforming the schools of Richmond. We want to make Richmond schools world class, and I don't see any barriers to doing that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Kristen Larson, and I'm running, also running in the 4th District for School Board. I'm the former Vice President of Patrick Henry Charter School, Richmond's first public charter school. <coughs> Some of you may be wondering, do I have a charter school agenda? My only agenda for Richmond is high quality schools. Richmond children need access to a top-notch education. To do this, I will spend your tax dollars wisely. I would have voted no to renovate and reopen Norrell at the cost of $200,000 and another $400,000 in annual operating costs. I would have used that money to reduce the teacher furlough days and keep more dollars in the classroom. This type of waste cannot continue. Middle schools in Richmond must be transformed. Middle school SOLs were among among the lowest in the state. Henderson had a 7% pass rate, and MLK had a 3% pass rate. And children are being hurt by our failure to act. The current on-time graduation rate in Richmond is among the lowest in Virginia. Statewide, 86% graduate on time. Armstrong managed a dismal 60%. And that failure begins in middle school. We need to examine what works. Both community and open have on-time graduation rates of 100%. I support replicating and expanding these programs to include, to include middle school grade levels. And I pledge to listen to the community. I'm not a professional politician. I'm a mother, a wife, a neighbor, and a school reform advocate. Greetings, everyone. I am Mamie Taylor, writing for school board in our 5th district. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Excellent. I'm running for school board because I want to bridge the gap using the facts. The facts are families, administrators, communities, teachers, and students all working together for the betterment and improvement of our schools. I am not a politician. I'll say it again, I am not a politician. I'm a mother of three children, all products of Mission Public Schools. I'm a wife, 21 years, and I'm an educator with RPS, or I have been, for over seven years. 
I want to bridge the gap and bring families together because it takes a community. Too often our leaders think that we can do it all by ourselves, but we need your input. And you all need to know the realities of what is really going on in our schools. So I pledge to you, if you are to invest in me as your representative, I will make sure that I keep you informed through quarterly meetings. I will also reach out to our communities with a strong parental outreach program. My plans are to have every school in the city of Richmond employed with someone on staff that will be specifically designed to reach out to parents. And I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Good evening. Thank you for coming out this evening to this forum as we talk about this very important matter of education here in Richmond and in America. Uh, my name is Maurice Henderson, and uh, I'm a native of Richmond, Virginia, a product of the Richmond Public <coughs> School System. It is because of the Richmond Public School System that I stand here before you tonight. It is the way that I got to where I am today. Uh, I am an electrical engineer. Uh, I spent a successful career in the telecommunications industry, and I ended my telecommunications career in the Middle East, uh, building telecommunications networks across Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, for the last decade, I have worked for NASA uh, Space uh, Agency, uh, building uh, outreach programs for museums and education uh, centers across the country. And uh, those have both allowed me to build a base for understanding what's happening uh, in our uh, education community across the world. So it is very important that we stand for what's happening in education. And there are a thousand little things that we need to be concerned about. But there are a few really big ones that we must work on. And most of those are the responsibility of school boards. And so I stand before you to tell you just a few of those things that are very important. The first is that we address the development of our preschools and that we have preschool programs that reach out to serve as many of our preschoolers as we possibly can. And we need to continue to expand and enhance that. And then the second, uh, I want to work, continue working with the um, school system to build its strategic uh, planning process. And so I stand before you this evening to let you know that as Vice Chairman of the School Board, I would appreciate your support and vote so that I may continue this work. Thank you very much. Good evening. I am Shonda harris Muhammad, candidate for School Board in the 6th District. Um, Madam Moderator, excuse my, my tardiness this evening. I was coming from a, a, another forum. Do you have a note? No, I don't. <laughs> but I can sign you one. Um, <laughs> I am a 16-year educator. I am a mother of two, of which both of my children, uh, my son went through Richmond City Public Schools. My daughter is a current eighth grader at Lucy Brown Middle School. I married my college sweetheart. Um, so besides those important things of being an educator, a mother, and a wife, I am also a community advocate. My um, desire to run for the school board is probably one of the most different um, facts that you've probably heard, and that is it's a calling on my life. It's a ministry that has been placed on my life to do. And over 40 years, I have been running from that call, and now I'm at this place. Um, some of the things that I would like to implement or do is um, have equality and excellence ac across the school district. I believe every school in, the, in Richmond City Public Schools should be equal and excellent in their instructional program. I'm going to fight strongly to implement a parent report card and a student report card and implement a school board task force. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this on? Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay. My name is Rich Savage. It's uh, great to be back. Here at VCU, uh, I have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of fond memories here because I've been very supportive of uh, VCU students. My campaign manager's up there, Tavares Spinks, VCU grad, former VCU Young Democrat, 
A lot of uh, VCU students are helping me on my campaign, and uh, I'm a big believer uh, in getting young people involved. And in fact, my first inspiration to start on this journey to the school board is just right over here at the Randolph Community Center, which is right, you know, just right over the, 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 the tollway here, where I've been, a, well, up until this year, a volunteer coach for almost 10 years with uh, young men 13 to 15 years old. And so I've got a lot of experience seeing just how the realities of life <coughs> affect their success or chances of success in the classroom. Um, I also, uh, about five years ago, started a small nonprofit education foundation, which allowed me to develop micro grants to help students in math, science, and you know, try and remove those financial obstacles that prevent them uh, from uh, achieving even greater success. My goal on leadership and my, my view on leadership, because we can, we're going to talk about a lot of issues, but I think it's important to understand when, no matter what the issue, how I approach things, we're going to hear a lot of negative things about that need to be fixed, but I also focus, I think a great leader also focuses on what their organization is doing well and trying to expand that. And uh, we've got uh, a lot of good success stories. I'm, I'm a new candidate, um, but there's a lot of good success stories that are going on inside the Richmond schools. And, uh, and I'll share some of those stories later, too, and how we can use new ways and, and new approaches to solve problems and also build upon what we're doing well uh, in our system to uh, uh, make a difference for these kids. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad to see all your faces here tonight because it means that you're concerned about our original public school system. My name is Vanessa Womack Easter, and I am a proud parent of uh, two children, one who had graduated from Richmond Public Schools and is now at Berkeley College of Music. In fact, he spent uh, a year here at BCU, and he's doing very well. And my daughter is a senior at Richmond Community High School. And uh, she's doing very well, too, and hopefully will uh, enter into a program that is science or mathematically focused for career. And I say that because I'm very proud of what they've been able to achieve through Richmond <coughs> Public Schools. But not all parents can say that, and not all children can be that. And we uh, have and we owe to our children, to our students, to help them to be all that they can be. My uh, background is uh, uh, basically a business education consultant. I am a high edu higher education uh, instructor at the University of Phoenix. And I've been a community advocate, a leader in the community, have gone through leadership programs. So I have also been involved in a lot of conversations of what's right and what needs to be done better. And I can certainly say that being part of a Richmond community and focus on education, I've been inside the classrooms, I've been the president of uh, Virginia Heroes, a middle school mentoring program. So I have seen and understand the need uh, between the elementary and the high schools. I'm an advocate for school reform. Uh, I believe in STEM, S-T-E-M, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. I believe in restructuring the school year. And this is my second time approaching this candidacy, and uh, I hope that I will have your support and you can spread the word of Vanessa in District 4. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dr. Norma Murdoch. I'm the Assistant I was really impressed when I saw the list of organizations that you have here working together because I've always believed in the synergistic strength of groups of people working together to achieve tremendous things. And I've had the honor to be able to be in the leadership position to help work with some groups like that. So I want to share a couple of facts that even my colleagues don't know about me. The first organization that I joined when I moved to Richmond 38 years ago was the National Organization of Women. Later, I formed the Equal Rights Amendment Political Action Committee and we working together, diselected some of the members of the General Assembly, including the Speaker of the House, and as chief lobbyist for that group, which included hundreds of dedicated volunteers, we came very close to being able to have Virginia in the right column. Um, later, as the chief lobbyist for the Virginia Counselors Association, I led a very large group of people, and we succeeded in persuading the General Assembly in having a counselor in every school in the entire Commonwealth. I think that same synergistic effect can help in Richmond too. We as a team are not 
um, solo people with interesting ideas. We have to work as a team. If we don't get five votes, it goes nowhere, even if it may be the best idea in the world. Some of the things that we've gotten started with this year, these last four years are a solid foundation to build on. We've expanded the number of preschool slots. We need to expand it much further. We've expanded the child development labs, which keep our teen parents in school and train them to be good parents and train them to provide cognitive stimulation for their kids so they won't be behind when they start preschool. We have started a specialization in each of our middle schools. Uh, six out of this year is eight. And we've uh, expanded the number of kids that um, get college credits, whether they be AP, IB, or dual enrollment. And I'm hoping very shortly we'll have kids graduating with a physics degree at the same time that they graduate from high school. So I look forward to a partnership with you all. We could use you as mentors. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Jeff Bourne, and I'm a candidate for uh, third district school board seat. Um, and I was raised by a school teacher. I remember uh, being in kindergarten, which was half day then, spending the other half of the day in my mom's third grade classroom. So education and the importance of, of getting a good education was ingrained in me uh, at a very early age. And while my mother, interestingly enough, was a big stickler for uh, getting good grades and make sure you, you, if you're doing well in school, it was my father who didn't graduate uh, from college, didn't go to college, went to the Marine Corps and then became a police officer, that was the biggest stickler in my room, in my house. Uh, my campaign for this was born out of uh, two young people who were extremely important in my life, my four-year-old daughter, Sydney, and my five-month-old son, Joseph. I want for them what I got for my public schools, which is a solid foundation upon which to build a successful life. Uh, and I am so pleased and proud that my daughter has now entered into Richmond Public Schools uh, in the four-year-old program. I believe in the promise of Richmond Public Schools, but I do think that we can do better. And, by, and we can do better in a couple ways. One, we can increase accountability oversight for the school board about what goes on in and around our schools. Two, we have to get a handle on our middle schools. You heard some stats earlier. I like to look at them in a, in a different way. Henderson Middle School, which is in the third district, 93% of its kids fail the math portion of the SOLs. And I, I look at it from 93% because I believe you've got to own the problem before you can get to a solution. Third, you've got to do a better job of doing career and technical education in our system. We have a tremendous amount of kids that are not getting the skills that they need to compete and participate in the economy. And we've got to develop those skills of tomorrow and not yesterday if we're going to meet our core mission, which is making sure kids are college ready or job ready when they leave RPS. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Kim Gray, and I'm the school board representative of the second district where VCU is. And I'm a proud mom of two VCU students. I have um, seven children, four of whom have graduated from Richmond Public Schools and gone on to higher ed. And I've had very positive experiences in Richmond Public Schools but there are multiple realities for our students and I know that not all students have had positive experiences and not all students get to graduate and go on to four-year colleges and that's been a driving force for me um, on the school board. I've, I've pushed for better accountability with our resources. I've asked for a line item budget. Uh, it took a while but with the help of many of you, we got a line item budget so we can see exactly where our money is being spent because resource allocation is key um, when determining how, how <coughs> our priorities are going to, we're going to meet our priorities for getting our kids where they need to be. Um, accountability and transparency have been the thrust of, of why I joined the school board. I've also worked with the City Council Commission for Career and Technical Education. We've strengthened our schools, um, career and technical education programs. We haven't gone far enough. I'd like to continue on that path. I've also um, worked on uh, getting our facilities ADA compliant. We're almost there. We're about 90% through, and hopefully within the next year to two, we'll be 100% compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. So. These are, these are key components of things that I will set out to do when joining the school board and continue to work on. And I hope to have your support on November 6th. Thanks.
Good evening, I'm Mariah White. I am an active Carver uh, resident. Also, I am also an active CASO member, which is the Carver and VCU um, togetherness that we have. Um, I'm also a mentor at Carver Elementary, so are some, of, some of you are. Um, I'm also a previous lunch buddy. I'm also one of the uh, foster care alumni of American. I'm also, I currently serve on more. I've been educated in J. Sergeant Reynolds, VCU, and Strail. I've been here all my life in Richmond. I am ground rooted from Richmond Public Schools. The reason why I came on this want to run for a representative of the school board is that sometimes you just get sick and tired of things that's just not going right at the school board. And I have, I have I'm a very uh, advocate of the community as well as the school. The things that I'll be looking for is to promote more parental environment in the schools, to find ways to reduce expenses through the shares services with, while maintaining the same quality for our schools, for our education, and keeping our teachers in the, in the classroom. I have a lot of experience that is different, is very unique. I have business, I have finance, I have military, I am currently a commander in the Virginia Army National Guard. I also want to upgrade the technology and line towards STEM program also, which is the science, technology, engineer, and mathematics, and also need to include economics. I also want to promote college and workforce courses through virtual classes. We can also use the online for our classes, even, even through summer school, so we can cut some costs in our schools. I also want to improve communications and promote teamwork between the districts and the community. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Daisy Weaver. I'm a candidate in the second district uh, for school board. I, this is new to me. I have not, this is the first um, political office that I've run for. Is this on? Yep. Okay. Very nice. anyway, this is the first political office that I've run for. Um, my background is, well, I am a... Thank you. Okay. I'm a product of Richmond Public Schools. My daughter was also a product of Richmond Public Schools, and I'm, I'm very proud to say she was a graduate of Thomas Jefferson High School. I'm a graduate of Armstrong High School. Um, I've been interested in schools for all of my career. I started as a middle school teacher, uh, taught social studies, uh, middle school for approximately two years. Um, my goal was to move into education administration, however things took me in a different direction, and I ended up with public administration. I did retire recently as, uh, after having served <coughs> as a director of budget and strategic planning for the city of Richmond, and also as council chief of staff for the city of Richmond. In terms of overarching themes which I have um, dwelled on, um, I kind of think of them as the three A's. One is access for all students to innovative programs based on the diversity of needs for our, for our students. Uh, accountability at all levels, and that goes all the way from all of the personnel in the school all the way up to elected officials. I think it's absolutely important that accountability um, be a part of anything that we do. Action as well as leadership. We talk quite sometimes in Richmond, it takes us a long time to get to where we want to be but action followed by leadership. I think it's important that we forge um, effective coalitions uh, to, move, to move us forward. And I want to emphasize that um, the, the word effective when we talk about coalitions. I think it's important that colleagues work together, that we listen to each other, that we understand the issues, and that we move forward. One thing I think we've talked a lot about cost cutting, but we haven't talked about the effectiveness of our program. I think taking it to the next level, we've got to also look not just at, at cost, but we've also got to determine what is effective. Um, and sometimes effectiveness costs a little more than, um, than ineffectiveness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for inviting us and thanks for coming out to see us. My name is Trent Park and I'm running for the first district school board uh, representative seat. Um, I'm happy to be here. Uh, to tell you a little bit about myself and things that I would like to do, some priorities that I have. Uh, I've worked in community development here in the city of Richmond and economic development for the Commonwealth of Virginia. 
Uh, I have three children at Mary Monford, First District Elementary School. They're in first, second, and fourth grades. Um, I'm married to a, a wonderful wife that's involved in the PTA and teaches at Riverside School um, down south of the river. I served on the city's rezoning committee, and that was a, a great effort. I served with some of the folks up here on, on that committee. Taught us a lot about the different schools throughout the city. Uh, the different populations that they serve and some of the things that, that they have to, to work with. Um, First District has some great schools, but there are other great schools throughout the city. People think of Fox and, and Munford as being the, the two good elementary schools, but the truth is uh, Fisher, uh, John B. Carey, Fairfield Court, they're all good schools and they've got a formula that works. Um, my focus is not so much on big ideas, but good ideas. I think we have to focus on our core competencies. Uh, the schools do a lot of things right, we have a lot of good programs, but somehow we lack in, in execution of those. And I, could, I hope we can get into those tonight, but a couple of things that I'd like to focus on really is sort of democratizing the school system. Right now it's very sort of centralized power from the top down. I think that parents and, and teachers should have some say in, in the principals at the school. I think they should be able to look through the applicants when a school gets a new principal and sort of give some feedback to the administration about which ones they think would be suitable candidates for their school. I think that um, you know we should uh, borrow from universities and uh, um, have student evaluation surveys of the teachers and help that be a, a way for principals to help in uh, professional development of their teachers. Um, anyway, there are a lot more things that I'd like to do. Overall, um, I want to make sure that we have good school units that can really serve their community. Thank you very much. Hey guys, thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, appreciate you being here. My name's Glenn Sturdivant. Uh, working on running for school board in the first district. I've only got two minutes, so I'll be real quick. Uh, I grew up in Virginia and went uh, to Virginia public schools from first grade through graduation. My wife is a teacher, uh, and I'm endorsed by the Richmond Education Association, the uh, Teachers Association in Richmond, which I'm very proud of. Uh, my wife Lori and I, we've got two uh, boys that we want to be able to send K through 12 to Richmond Public Schools, uh, and so I'm getting involved to make sure that we can send our boys all the way through, and they can get a great education and be safe. We've got to make sure that we are hiring in the school system the very best teachers and principals, and that we are squeezing every nickel out of every dollar, and we're spending that money in the classrooms, and that we're not unwisely spending it at central office to the detriment of the schools, the teachers, the students, and the parents. The teachers are getting furloughed for five days, days this year because of the budget problems. We've got to change that. Uh, and most importantly, we have to bridge the gap in middle school. Uh, I've got a plan that's been done uh, elsewhere around the country very successfully to partner uh, a middle school uh, in my district, Albert Hill, with uh, VCU, School of Education, School of Engineering, School of Government, where we get VCU on the ground and in the school uh, providing uh, the things that VCU does, which is confidence and success. And that's going to really, I think, bridge the gap in middle schools. We can pilot that at Albert Hill in my district and do that at all the other middle schools around the city uh, with other colleges and universities. So I'd like to talk about that more uh, later on, but uh, thanks very much. Scotty, yes. could you give the mic to Tiki Pekney Epps, because she came in a little late so she can do an introduction. I apologize for being late. My name is Tiki Pinky Epps, and I'm the only candidate on the ballot for school board in the 9th District. Simply put, the reason why I'm running is because I care about children. I believe that all children have should have access to a quality, free public education. I commit to you, that's what I'll do. I'll lead a school system that is embraced by everyone, in which every child from every community has an opportunity to thrive. Oh, Albertina Carter, you just stepped in. Did you want to give a real brief introduction, and then we'll go to the next question? I was actually at an 8th district um, community meeting and it ran a little bit over. But my name is Albertina Carter and I am a candidate for the 8th district school board seat. 
I have lived in the city of Richmond all my life. I grew up in the East End area of the city and attended and graduated from Georgia with high school. And I actually grew up during a time of um, busing. So I was bused from the East End over to the South Side, where I attended and graduated from Georgia's high school, and pretty much stayed in the South Side or in the 8th or 9th district for most of my adult life. I have three adult children who are graduates of Richmond Public Schools. They have done very well, so they are successful graduates of Richmond Public Schools. My daughter is a doctor of optometry. My oldest son is a web designer, and my youngest son is an electrician by trade. I spent 26 years with the Richmond Police Department. I spent 26 years with the Richmond Police Department, and I retired five years ago as a police captain. I became the first African-American female to ever have been promoted to the rank of lieutenant and the rank of captain in the Richmond Police Department. I currently work for Dominion Virginia Power. I came to Dominion Virginia Power as an investigator, and I've been there about five years now, and I'm currently Director of Business Excellence and Employee Development. And I look forward to answering any questions that you have about um, my district. Okay, thank you.